Hello students, today we are going to perform the new experiment. To perform this experiment, you need this file. This is a Cisco packet tracer file. This is a lab manual file. And this is a lab manual file with the answer. So, here given in the description, you will find one link. And through the link, you can find all this file. So, once you get the file, just click on the Cisco packet tracer file. Double click on it. The file will get open. Once the file open, it will look like the same. Here on the left side, all the instructions are given. You can scroll down, uh, read the instruction and you can follow accordingly. At the end, the result is given. So once you complete the experiment, you can check your result. Once you click on the result, it will give you the overall feedback. It will also give you the assessment item. Your score will be displayed here. So right now, I will close it. Uh, this is the rack. Uh, this is the cable cupboard where you will find the different cable. This is the cell where you will find the different home router, switch and the router. This is the computer, this is the laptop. The different devices are available on this. You can click on the zoom in and you can take a closer look. So this is the rack where power automatically given. These are the different cable. You can find the console straight through, crossover, mini USB. Uh, and here you will find uh, devices on the cell from home router to 2960-3650-4331-4321. This PC and laptop is given. So I will perform the experiment now. This experiment is divided into the three tasks, part 1, part 2 and part 3. In part 1, we are going to access a Cisco switch through the serial console part. So, I will take the 2960 switch from this cell. So, this is the switch. I will put it into the rack. So, it is automatically connected with the power. You can do right click and you can view the front view. So, inspect front and you will be able to find out the front view of the switch. So, it is a 24 port switch. And uh, you can also check the rear view, back side view. Just click on the inspect rear and you will find the back view where the console port is there and uh, power cable is there. Just close it. So now switch is there. You need a computer to connect with the switch. So this is a computer. Put it on the table and take a console cable from here. So now uh, in computer, you can do right click, you can inspect front. So this is the front view of a computer. Using this switch, you can turn on the computer. Just click on the red switch. You can see that the computer is turned on now. Now connect this cable uh, to the RS-232 port. So you can just put your mouse cursor over here and it will show you the different port. You can see this is a fast ethernet. This is a USB. USB 0 and 1. So now I will connect my console cable RS-232 port over here into the computer. So now you can see that it turns into the green. That means the cable RS-232 port is connected over here. You can close it. You go into the switch and in the back side, in the rear side, you will find the console port. So find it and just click on it. Once you click, you can see that one cable is available. So now this cable is connected with the switch console port and into the RS-232 port PC. You can drag your cursor over here and you can get all the detail like source device, source port, destination device, destination port and cable type. So now you have connected the devices. Now you log in into the switch terminal. So to, to log in into the switch terminal, you need to click on the PC. In PC, you will find the desktop over here. You just click onto the terminal. In terminal, you will find some setting which need to be kept default. So keep it keep it as it is and click on OK. So you can see that this is a setup file of switch. Now just you enter, you can see that you are into the switch terminal. So now you whatever you want to configure, you type here. The switch will configure accordingly. So in the PC. You are working on the switch terminal. 
So this is how you can make a physical connection and you can go into the terminal which is all about the part 1. Now you go to the part 2, here we will configure some basic setting. So again I will go to the terminal, I need to click on the terminal and I will give the default setting OK and this is my terminal. So as per the manual I will run some command and I will check that the terminal is working properly or not. So in the terminal, uh, first of all, I will check the version of the switch. So I will write the command show version. So here you can see that as I type the show version, it will display all the version related details. So here you will find the version which is a 12.2 into bracket 25 fx. The other detail will also available. As per the requirement, you can read the detail and use it. You can see that assembly number, power supply port number, serial number of motherboard, power supply serial number. A lot of detail will be available regarding the switch. So you can check this kind of detail. Now as per the manual, I will uh, set the clock. So to set the clock, first I will check what kind of clock is available into the switch. So I will write the command show clock. So here by default the clock is assigned into the switch is 356 Monday March 1 1993 so now I want to change it so to change the clock first of all I need to go to the uh, privilege mode as I am right now into the user mode I will write the command enable and I will be into the privilege mode so you can see that I am into the privilege mode the symbol is a representation of a privilege mode so now I will uh, write the command that is a clock set so uh, now what to write I will ask through the question mark as I ask the question mark it says me just write down the hour minute and second as per the given format so here I will uh, write as per the menu that is 1520 it is 28 sorry and 00 again I will ask the question so you can see that you can write the month and then you can write the day of the month. So as per the manual month is November and date is 11. So again I will ask the question mark. So it asks me to write down the year. So as per the manual again write, write down the year which is 2020. So here I set the clock as per the manual instruction and I will enter. So now the clock has been set as per the new given time. So let me check it by writing the command. So clock I can check it so you can see that now the date month uh, and clock everything is according to the new given time and new given date okay so this is how we can do a configuration customization into the switch by using the PC so now the task 2 is also complete I will go to the task 3 the task 3 is access a Cisco router using a mini USB console cable. So I need to take a router, then I need to take a USB cable and then I need one device to connect with it. So here as per the instruction 4321 is a required router. So I will find the router from the cell which is given over here. So now this is a 4321. I can I can click and I can check the front and uh, different view so here you can see that Cisco 4321 here one switch is given the different port mini USB port auxiliary port giga ethernet port USB port so these all port are given so to turn on this router you need to click over here I will on the router you can see that green line is over here now just close it take one laptop and uh, you can also turn on the laptop by inspect front and front side you can see that power on switch is given this is the power on switch and by this switch you can you can turn on the laptop now you just close it so now your setup is ready you need a cable mini usb cable so take a cable from the cable dashboard so this is a cable and now you find a usb port into the laptop uh, click on it it will turn green and then find a USB cable over here so once you find a mini USB port or you can 
go with the inspect front uh, you can zoom in and you can find a required cable so this is a required usb console just click on it it will automatically connect with the cable so you just put your cursor over there you will find the detail source device source port uh, destination device destination port so this is how i connect now router with the laptop so again i can go to the laptop in laptop i will go to the desktop in desktop i will go to the terminal in terminal by default setting i will say okay and now i am in router you can see that they are asking me that do you want to set up any initial configuration i will say no so now i am in router terminal you can see that the router is written over here and i am in laptop so this is how you can uh, interact with the devices like router and switch you need a terminal and that terminal can be found by the pc or laptop so this is how i have done uh, all the instruction i have completed all the requirement now let me check the result click here uh, the overall feedback is congratulations on completing this activity an assessment item i can find the different assessment criteria which has been successfully done and my score is 10 out of 10 some connectivity test is there but right now no connectivity test so i will close this scoreboard thank you thank you very much